Howdy folks, Timber Drifter here. Been out cutting firewood for a few hours, got a load. I'm in the National Forest. Maybe see some spots there where there's a lot of sawdust on the top of the snow. That's where I've been cutting. Dead standing maple, with bark slipping on it. Pretty good firewood. Some of it's a little punky, but it's dry. It'll burn. So, I'm gonna set you down here and pack a pipe. Cornell and Deal, cross-eyed cricket, unsweetened black Cavendish with Turkish Latakia and Perique, all enclosed in a light rum punch flavor. Uh, I've smoked maybe about ten pipes of this, and the first time I tried it, I thought, no, no, not for me. It smells to me like Hawaiian punch, the old stuff that came in the in the can. The kind of can you punched a hole in and then poured it out into glasses. And I thought, no, I, I can't do it. But then I got kind of curious about it again, and pulled it out and tried it another time. And I thought, you know, that's not half bad. So then I left it in the car for a little while and smoked it on the way to and from town a few few times during the week. I thought, well... It's actually kind of interesting. I can't really taste much over the rum punch flavor. That's pretty much what it tastes like to me. And black Cavendish kind of, I can't smoke it very often because it leaves my mouth feeling kind of dried out. It's, it's pretty astringent to me. Look, it's an interesting aromatic. I don't taste the Orientals or the Perique at all. Or maybe just every once in a while. Somewhere down in the middle of the bowl. So to me it has kind of rum punch flavor with a little bitterness. Not unpleasant though. It was a little shocking to me at first, but the more I smoke it, the more I like it. I probably won't buy a ten of it, but I will enjoy this sample. So, my rating system. I like it. It's okay, or I don't like it. It's firmly in the it's okay section. I will enjoy smoking the whole sample. I'll show you what I'm sitting on here. Stack this split section on top of the, the stump. So I've got a nice little comfortable rocking chair to enjoy during my smoke. Since the car is already full, packing all the wood in the back of a Ford Explorer, so there's not a whole lot of space. I can get about a face cord in there. So I just got a little bit more. That's mostly the kind of stuff I'm cutting. hear that sound nice and dry husk barn of 450 there's some more trees in here if I had time today I'd do two loads I'm only, only 
like three, four miles from home. But it'll be dark in two hours. And I gotta sled all this. Like four, three and a half, three and a half or four sled loads. Back to my place and stack and finish splitting it. So there was some maples that came down in here, good size maples that split, like that one there behind me. The branch union split in a big storm we had. And it took out a bunch of a bunch of other maples. You can see that one back there too. That's what happened in here. That's why it's kind of cleared out. Somebody's was in here last summer cutting a lot of firewood out. And I'm just taking what they left behind, pretty much, what they left standing. A private, very large chunk of private property here in the National Forest, just behind me there over the top of that hill. But the weather's gonna, the weather's gonna turn tonight. Supposed to get a lot of rain and ice. So, this will be my last day out cutting firewood for a while. I've got enough probably for, if I'm here in the month of January, I'll probably have enough wood. Several days of cutting firewood. I like that shape. I think that's the Rob Roy, if I remember correctly. That shape of cob. Got five or six of them. I like the amber stems. Good smoking cob. so quiet out here today I kind of hate to run the chainsaw it's been like that the last couple of times I've been out cutting there's a little wind now but when I came out here it was just absolute silence to run the chainsaw and screw up all the silence but it's got to be done so cross-eyed cricket it's okay y'all take care get outside